Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you to your staff, and thank you to our staff and the staff of all the members in helping to produce our first two committee reports. Uh, I think that we worked in a truly bipartisan way to incorporate priorities on the Democratic side, and I'm glad that you acknowledge that this is the first of uh, uh, many suggestions that we will continue to work on with regard to these topics. And um, I look forward to uh, delving even deeper into these topics as we go forward. Um, consistent with our mandate, the Select Committee will attempt to produce a bipartisan report after every hearing that includes our findings and legislative recommendations that we will sub subsequently try to advance during the Congress. I'm not aware of any other committee or commission that is doing this, and I'm excited to be working in an innovative way uh, with all of you to break new ground. I'm proud to support the CCP's ongoing Uyghur genocide report and hope it has the unanimous support of uh, all members here. A few weeks ago, we heard harrowing testimony of Uyghur and Muslim women who were jailed in mass internment camps in Xinjiang. The pain and suffering these women endured is horrifying, and I think it's fair to say that many of us will not forget the testimony that we heard that day. It was so haunting. We know that the evidence has included not only firsthand testimony, but also thousands and thousands of pages of leaked internal CCP documents, photographs, and satellite imagery. The genocide is real, and it is not too late to confront these atrocities so that, quote unquote, never again can actually become a reality. This report provides a blueprint for congressional action, including recommendations to, among other things, one, pass legislation to sanction key PRC tech companies involved in the genocide. Two, strengthen U.S. diplomatic efforts and foreign assistance programs that promote awareness of Uyghur human rights abuses, including Radio Free Asia and the National Endowment for Democracy. Three, de strengthen enforcement of the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act by reducing the de minimis threshold for duty-free shipments from the PRC and providing additional resources for Customs and Border Protection to identify products made with forced labor, and for, among other things, prohibit the TSP and federal retirement accounts from investing in U.S.-sanctioned PRC entities. This report and these recommendations deserve the full support of the Select Committee and indeed the entire Congress. I look forward to their adoption and our work together, Democrats and Republicans, to move these recommendations into legislation as soon as possible. Thank you.